What's going on, homies? Welcome back to uh, another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, this is literally like two seconds after I recorded the last episode. I literally just named the file, and um, we're back in. But we're going to go over to Abigail, because there is a mission for her. So, let's see what she has to say. Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. There you go. Fisher of Men. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you, and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, so here's the fishing mission. I swear, every time I ask her something, I get it. Like, oh, why well, we haven't gotten the fishing mission yet. Oh, like, next episode, you'll get it. Like, oh, we haven't done this yet. It happened all the time in the Spider-Man series. So, I, I don't know. It's weird how that all works out. Our camp is so nice. I can't wait till we move to other camps, because I know we do do. We do do. <laughs> I said do do. But, Jack, Jackie boy. What you up to? Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Oh, sure. You're. <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Arthur's a good dude. Arthur is a good dude. Is he gonna get on here too, or no? Oh, okay, boy. Is he gonna get on here? If you hook me, I will literally throw you off a cliff. Where'd that even go? All right, hold on tight. So All right, let's go. Going? Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. Feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, <laughs> I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Where'd you go? Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. All right, we're gonna learn how to fish with our boy Jack. Maybe <laughs> I think it's Jack. Imagine if we just like left. It's just like a fun. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. And first, we need some bait. I don't have any other bait. Uh, so what do you want to catch? Isn't it corn attracts? Ah, uh, cheese attracts bluegill. I thought it was corn that. Uh, uh perch. Um, bullhead catfish. Yeah, let's just go for catfish because that's usually what I catch. Oh, we're using cheese. We have to use cheese. Okay. Why aren't you fishing? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? There we go. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You'll break the line. 
Best to wear them out first before you try to reel them in. Now it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling There you are. Nice and steady. I completely it's forgot of this. It's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Well, now that you say that, I guess I'll throw it back in. Can I take a break from fishing? <laughs> I want to make something. You s okay. You just started. I'm going to pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. Did I lose it? Yeah, I lost it. Oh no, I didn't. What is that? This one's a chain picker. A chain? Uh, remember the Pike family pick roll are energetic fighters and take. Well, they barely fought. Uh, they, uh, they, fl they favor cornmeal bait. We didn't even use that. Um, I'll keep it. Screw it. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to like? You know what? You're boring, bitch. I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, and wait, and try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. Huh. He's coming over. Wish this was easy. I wish fish would like fucking vibrate your pole. Things, Jack. I know. I think you've got a bite. Look. Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? It's a walleye. Oh, it's not. It's not a walleye. A uh, bluegill. Uh, 11 ounces. Yeah, let's keep it. It's food. It's food. Alright. Can we be done with this whole fishing? Hey, Fishing's kind of boring in this game. There you go. What? This necklace I made. Necklace? For mama. Sure. Let's keep that. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Five thousand dollars for your head alone. Okay, then I'll, I'll pay it. Five thousand dollars for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so. Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, this is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. 
You enjoy being a rich man's toy, do you? I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Good Shoot day. him in the head. Back in the head. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> well, that's... Okay, shoot him in the back of the head. Right here. Dead I am. No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. I'm a bunch of Scared losers. Away, Jack. Your mother be worried. Let's head back. It's not getting that late. It's like... I don't even know where the sun is at. It's like... Here. Is that... I don't even know what time. Get up here, boy. So that brings the uh, enemy really into the storyline. Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? where he is like I said don't worry about them the world is full of disagreeable men that's why you got all of us to protect you folk like them now how about that necklace you made you still got it they got right? dark quick yeah I got it good did you like fishing it was okay I think it's a lot of waiting around I wish fishing was that like easy though. It's not that quick of a process. Catching fish like like that. There was one day where we caught 17 fish in three hours. It's insane. How you boys get known? Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. All right, now we have issue, Dutch. Yeah, problem? What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And, and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Well, um, right side, we know how to fish. And Johnny's mission popped up. So we're going to do Johnny Boy Marston's mission. I thought I wasn't recording for a second, but that's just my live streaming uh, time I've been live streaming. But I am not live streaming, which is kind of... Okay. okay, so we're going to head over to Johnny Boy's mission. How far is it? Eh. Eh. We will make it over there. We'll make it over there sometime. I'm going to do it right now, though. So we know how to fish. We really do have like a, a big antagonist now. I have the... Uh, uh, what's their names? Frick, I can't think of their names, but it's like the Pickerson Detective Agency, those two guys. Um, and those are like the bad guys. I thought that was like a big ass fucking elk. I was like, what are you doing in this environment? But it's a horse, so um, yeehaw. Now, girl. Yeah. 
All right. I really don't want this horse. I was just like, screw it. Okay, that, that was a big waste of time, but it's fine. It is completely fine. Uh, it's really, it's really fun. I'll just leave you be, okay? I just wanted to uh, break you, so. And to give my horse some time to re uh, regenerate, so. We'll be right on our way, horsey boy. We're gonna get there and it's just gonna be like, it is too late to do this mission, or it is raining to do this mission. You cannot do this mission because it is raining. It's like, bitch, what? So we're gonna be getting some moolah, hopefully, then again, I don't need that much money. I'm, I have a lot of money. But that, uh, that, uh, I'm not very honorable. I, was, I thought that was a cliff. I was about to get scared. We're not very honorable, to be quite honest, as you can see in the bottom of the screen. Not that much honor there. <laughs> but it's fine. Again. Because I'm doing the right thing. I'm protecting. I protect, I attack, and I also snack. What? Okay. I'll give up. Get there quicker. Get there quicker. Faster, stronger, hard, wait, faster, stronger. <laughs> Can only make you stronger. Yeah, I've been waiting all night now. We're almost there. That's how long I've been on you. I know I got to be right now. Let's off now. What's going on? Ah, shut up, Arthur. I'll shut up, Arthur. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can sit. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I Arthur love you. Morgan. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best I shot. I love you, Arthur Morgan. Morgan. Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's Arthur. your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened. Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future, in all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. So it is supposed to be nightfall. We do this. Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yep. So we're supposed to wrap around. Hey. Uh, not really. We're supposed to like. Think so. Good. They should follow up. Right, my horse is gonna fall. Oh yeah. Okay. There we go. I was like, is my horse really gonna fall behind me? They just said that we. Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. Johnny's hair looks so nice. Remote, but should still give him enough time to this shouldn't hurt. I was like, this shouldn't hurt. What am I doing? <laughs> bitch. See, I mean, not bitch. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Too fast, Arthur. Too fast, bet. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, 
You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We that's so, that was like abrupt how that stopped. I was like, did I mess up? Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. better hope she slows I mean she's probably going to because I mean it's so early in the game and he's a main character he's not gonna die in the train if, the, if I haven't seen anything more cowboy and leprechaun than this Get on there, boy. Why are we walking? I want to run. We need to make this quick. Manual painting. You can manually tag enemies when aiming at them. Okay, like these are beta minion. Okay. I don't know how. Ah, uh, I guess that'd be kind of cool. There you go. <laughs> Just keep putting shots. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh uh, yeah, I'll put one bullet into you then. Get up. Get up. Need some help here, boy. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. There you go. Try me best, brother, but we're seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. Take the money, click. Uh, very funny. We'll take that. Uh, I can't take any more of that type of stuff because I'm already maxed out my inventory. Oh, 
search cabinet. Ooh, that looks like a nice hat. I don't want this hat though. I know that's what's worrying me. Can't take the hat. That's kind of upsetting. Why do you jump? <laughs> okay. No, why? I want you to open it. Thank you. <laughs> Not jump on top of it. Okay, we're. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Small jewelry bag. Jewelry. Platinum pocket watch. This is like what I like doing in the free roaming. It's like. S stealing trains and robbing them. It's actually quite fun for me. Full pocket watch. This should all be good. Good money. Oh, uh, we can see in the top. Okay, I can't take any more stuff from this cabinet. My under yeah, because I'm already maxed out with that on my inventory, so we're gonna have to leave. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horse Schmidt! You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn bippers. Hey, there's a few more to turn up. Oh, shoot. Well, my big mouth. Oh, you still win okay. that. Let's deal with them. Yeah, I, I must have my... Okay, I don't have my... Well, we're going to use this then. There you go. It's like a two-shot. It's like a two-shot. That's nice. Oh, that was kind of embarrassing. Oh, so now we're getting pinched. You guys are cute. With your strategies. Uh, let's worry about this guy behind. Ooh, look at that shot in the booty. Let's get these guys and the horses up there, and then we'll... Oh, okay. There, there he's already dead. Okay, where's the last guy? Dead. One shot, one shot, one shot. Let's go, let's go. I think this is my horse. Where are we going? Yeah. Let's go. Secret law. Come Evade on. the law by. So this is literally just telling me how to escape when I have a wanted level. Yeah. So I mean, we're still like in the tutorial phase of the game, to be quite honest with you, because we just learned how to fish. Uh. Come on, let's keep going. Yeah, keep keep go faster, go faster, boy. We gotta get out of here. I don't know why the circle follows me. I don't understand. There you go. Now it's not following me anymore. Do I still have my lost side? -y? If I take this off, then it'll it'll be easier for them to like not identify me, right? Isn't that isn't that way? Oh wow, they're chasing. They're chasing. They're a bunch of chasey boys. Okay, we're halfway out of it. Horse is running out of stamina. That's major rip. We should. I'm gonna. We were already in the map. Oh my god, we are almost by St. Dennis. <laughs> Didn't even notice. Okay, we probably shouldn't be moving into a town. Probably not a good idea. Call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> the woman's just standing in the back like, what? Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, Billy. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. It'll take. Oh, so I got. Oh, I got 187. 
But where does the other money go? Because we got like a couple, like we we got a couple thousand or something like that. So I don't know where the other bits went. Man. Actually, is there a, tra a train station here? Yes, there is. Okay, we're going to go to the train station and we're just going to pay off. We're going to get rid of the bounty that I do have in this area. I have a bounty in this area because um, I accidentally ran over someone with my horse. So apparently I don't like that shit. So we're going to pay that off and then we will ride the train back to Valentine. That is the plan. So what you gotta do is you gotta barge in the door. Like you're angry or some shit. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. Uh, pay bounty. Let's see what bounties we have. We have a $50 one and a $15 one. We got rid of those. And then we are going to get a train ticket and go back to Valentine. Here you go. What, what missions do we do? We went fishing and we also robbed that train. So that's two missions right there. So, I'm gonna ride back to the, uh, no, I'm probably just gonna end this here, because I usually just do two missions, and these two missions happen to be shorter, which is pretty cool. So, if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you know, that's all I got, see ya. That's all, folks.